Good afternoon everybody, Bullet Tarra Todos. We are back on board Andresa. Today we are cleaning the teak. Teak is a wonderful thing when it's on a boat, it looks beautiful. Like on these super yachts they have acres and acres of teak. They also have full-time professional crew to look after it. The trouble with teak is it costs a fortune, it stains very easily and you have to constantly take care of it. You have to clean it regularly, you have to brighten it, you have to wash it down regularly. Not every single day, most days you can just chuck a bucket of salt water on it, but really well and brush it off. And But today we're going to give it a proper clean. So what we're going to do, it's a three stage sec, uh, uh, process. We'll go around first with the Revolution Sec. You've seen me use this stuff before. So any oil spots that we find, we will treat with the Revolution Sec. We'll give them a scrub out once it's dried and once all that's dried and the dust is gone, we will then use these other products. The first thing we're going to do is we'll hose it all down. So we're going to take a hose pipe and we're going to soak the teak properly all the way. We're then going to use a teak cleaner like this one and we'll drop that straight onto the teak and then we'll use a, a deck brush like this one and we'll give it a good scrub, make sure that we get all the stains out and all brushing in the same direction as the grain is going. Never brush against the direction on teak, always with the grain. If you brush against it, it will wear, it will start to splinter eventually. It's quite a tough material, but it does not last forever. So keep doing that. If we get any particular tough spots where we're going over, we've got a little electric brush, which we'll give a go, uh, just to get in any little corners or any particularly stubborn stains that won't come out with that. And then we will then hose it all off again completely. We will go from front to back, so walking from the front to the stern of the boat, working our way back, making sure everything's clean uh, with the teak cleaner, scrub down properly, then hose clean, and once that's been done, we will then reapply some more water to make sure, and then we'll apply the teak brightener. This will make it come really bright and, and vivid, and we'll end up with a beautiful looking deck, so we can, we can get out on it. Once that's done, we will drop this straight onto the deck again, apply it quite liberally. We'll use one of these sponge brushes that we've got here just to mop it about and make sure that it covers all the surfaces. And once it's done again, we will then, of course, hose it all down again straight away. Never let this stuff dry on there. It's very important you wash it off whilst you still can. So that'll be the, the process then, and then we'll just let it dry properly and we'll take a look at the finished product. Hope this is useful for you guys. I'll show you as I'm doing it. I'll film things as I go. Gonna be a pain for me, but this is what it takes to run a boat with teak decking. This is why people buy synthetic teak. Flexi teak, great stuff. All you need to do is hose it down. It looks beautiful, this stuff. It does cost the earth, but sometimes it's just worth it. See you later, okay, guys. Okay, first things first, we've got the Revolution Sack out. Give it a good shake. We've got any oil stains that we can find. And there's bound to be more, bound to be more. There's some. Okay, these are the people that are eating, favourite things, dropping potato chips. Bit one there. And that's about it. Yep, I think we're done now with the Revolution Sec. Small one there. And that. And once those are dry, we'll scrub them out. Okay, as you can see, that's dried now. Let's give that a scrub out. Set them over there. Give these spots a quick scrub. Take most of it out. The brightener will bring that up nicely. Same here on these ones. We'll get round and do them all and then we'll start the next step in the process. Okay guys, first things first when we're doing this, make sure the salon door is closed. Last thing we want to do is soak this downstairs completely. So let's get working on these decks. So, work through in stages. Front part first, 
main salon and then the aft and the swim deck last of all. So move that out of the way now. Next job, tea cleaner. So get out. Pass it on quite liberally. Got a little bit. Deck brush. Again, with the grain. That's a bit awkward in these places, but don't be tempted to try and brush against the grain just because it's easy. It's very important that you get this thing. If you see the muck lifting out of this, unbelievable. Get a quick shot of this for you. Even though we clean that properly and we gave it a good hose down, you can see the muck coming out of the teak as we're moving it with the grain backwards and forwards. I need to try and do this one-handed, but you can see the absolute rubbish coming out. Look at the colour of that, it's terrible. Absolutely shocking. Again, look at the muck that's come out of that with a brush and some teak cleaner. And that teak looked clean. It's amazing how much rubbish it gets in it. We'll uh, wash that off. Continue that process now on the stern and I'll come back to you and I'll show you how we brighten it with the, with the brightener. Okay so we've washed down, we've scrubbed it, we're now going to give, hose it down again, completely rinsed it with fresh water, we're now going to go start again at the front, we're going to hose down again, wet everything down again, apply the uh, teak brightener and when once that's done again wash it all off with lots of fresh water and then let it dry and we'll take a look when it's finished. So. Okay, this time we're using one of these little sponge mops which we'll use and push the, the brightener about a bit. So, top off the brightener, again, apply it quite liberally, again stages, working with the grain, this thing works instantly so once you've done it it literally just needs to be mopped straight off. Again, spread it about lightly and then give it a quite a full mop. With
again in stages. Don't let it dry. Make sure you do the first bit, rinse it off. Do the next bit, working backwards towards the stern. Again, apply it quite liberally. Make sure it all gets covered each stage, each bit. Again, the mop out, working with the grain again. Where the brightener. difference when it's wet look, because when it dries it'll look a hell of a lot cleaner and a hell of a lot brighter. Again guys, we'll work our way back now through the, the, uh, the gangway and up through the passageway there and down onto the, the uh, swim deck and clean all the seats there and I'll come back to you once it's finished. Okay guys, that's the process finished. <clears throat> we've washed down, we've brightened it, we've washed it again, rinsed it all thoroughly with clean water. Next job we need to let it dry in the sun before we take a look at it. And while we're doing that, we're gonna go and clean out our brushes and our sponges and make sure that everything is clean and ready for the next time they use it. Last thing you wanna do is leave something quite as acidic as this. If you'll notice, there's quite, they're quite poisonous and they're, they're quite um, <coughs> corrosive, these, these things. So the last thing you want to do is to leave it on your brushes and then start scrubbing a highly polished GRP down with it or anything like that. So give them a quick scrub, leave those out in the sun to dry as well, and then we'll take a look at the finished product. See now you can see now the seek drain nicely. It's already dried there in the companion way. This is the new teak, and that bit just forward of it is the old original teak. You can see how the brightness sort of brought them together now. This was much darker before we brightened it. And now it's the same, we're just waiting for the cockpit to dry. But you can see the finished article there. Nice clean teak, brightened up nicely. If you wanted to, you could use a sealer on it. I tend to not do that so often, probably twice a year. Uh, if we're doing this, we'll probably do this at least once a month with this teak, but uh, especially if some people are walking up and down it in their dirty feet and they've got sunscreen on and goodness knows what else. And it all gets trodden in. That's all you can see coming out of it when we brushed it. But, as of now, we had a nice clean teak. The teak is drying nicely on the sun pad, not quite on the uh, uh, swim platform, not quite dried out yet. But, when it does, it will look very much like that, the original teak there that you can see. That's been it, that's been me sorting the teak out today. Just about to put everything away, put the hose pipes away. Brushes are out drying in the sun, they should be done in a moment. Time for me then to go and get a cold beer. It's been a long, long afternoon. See you next time, guys. Bye for now.